Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how to create this Lily watercolor illustration in the app IBS Paintex. The thing is, I am not going to use any texture. So, I will show you how to create the watercolor illustration in your free version of IBS Paintex app. I am not going to use any background texture which is only available for the paid version. So, let's get started. This is a FSD canvas and I'm using felt tip pen hard brush to draw the sketch for my illustration. As always, I'm not going to uh, make it visible for the final output. So you can make changes, um, overdo and you can do all those things in this uh, layer because this is not going to be visible on our final output. It is only for our reference. So for Lindy, I took some reference from uh, Pinterest, some lily floss, some uh, floss with leaves and I just analyzed their shape and uh, colors uh, which all uh, taken from uh, different different uh, images and from that inspiration I'm just drawing. So here you can see for the lily flower, I feel like it is more small uh, than expected. So I just used a lasso tool to select and move uh, it a little bit. Also uh, make it broader a little bit. So now I'm going to draw the another flower in the same layer. So our end sketch is uh, uh, come uh, end up in a single layer. So we have to draw something like that. So this floor is different from that in sh in terms of shape. Uh, like uh, this, uh, the sh floor on the left side is kind of, okay, we can consider that as a uh, front end. So here you can see I just moved that floor using the lasso tool and. Uh, transform tool and make it smaller and move it a little bit at the bottom to the bottom and uh, I'm drawing one more, one more flower so if you feel like you can't draw perfect uh, flowers you can simply draw one flower and you can duplicate it or uh, copy and paste that uh, using the lasso tool or using the layer option and then you can merge them together. So I feel comfortable with drawing on hand. So I didn't copy uh, copy any flower. If I need any adjustment, I'll use the lasso tool to no. select and more. So one more flower. So you don't need to draw the exact shape, uh, shapes uh, same as you see on the internet. Uh, as time goes, it will come for you perfectly. So here you can see there are some overlaps uh, between flaws. So you may get confused while uh, doing the watercolor process. So using lasso, special lasso eraser, I'm erasing the unwanted lines like this since everything on the same layer we can draw that simply and now I'm going to draw the leaves so already as I told it is very confusing because there are so many uh, lines here so to avoid that confusion I just drawing the leaves on the um, uh, another layer like this so I just reduce the opacity of that a flower layer to 31 percent so that you can uh, get an idea how to draw without confusion so uh, we have to draw some leaves on the back side as well for that i'm using red color uh, uh, and i'm using a separate layer to draw this leaf which is on the bottom and now you can see the difference between um, the layers and the, uh, where uh, things comes so the floor is going to be on the uh, center, uh, some leaves is on the front and some uh, red color uh, line leaves is on the back side. So that's how 
I'm going to draw. So now it looks confusing, right? So I will make clear. So now I just uh, merged the leaves all together and at the top and the bottom we had separate layers light uh, I'm just merging all together and erasing the unwanted lines like this so now you can understand these smaller leaves comes at the front so now again confusing so what you can do is just reduce the opacity of any layer whether it is a flower or leaf so here you can see, I just kept the uh, opacity of uh, 200% of the leaves and reduced the flower layer. And now erasing the stem of that flowers because that is going to be hidden behind the leaves. And uh, here you can see we have the leaves that are merging with the flowers. So I'm just erasing that leaves line which means these leaves are uh, coming behind the uh, flower so that's why I'm erasing it now everything is clear now I'm merging all together like this reduce the opacity of the layer and I'm just creating a new layer to draw my watercolor illustration so now selecting the areas uh, my way of watercolor illustration is more different from the others i will not uh, use the watercolor brush straight away instead i will select the areas like this using the lasso tool you can see now i'm going to uh, select and you color only this part of that petal also in this Floor. In all the floor, I'm going to select the areas, only one area at a time because when we select entirely uh, all the portions, uh, we can't get that sharp edges with the fine color uh -huh, because they will blend when you um, add a sharp edged dark color and then when you're drawing, uh, adding lighter colors uh, next to that dark color, it going to blend when you're using any watercolor brush to avoid that i just select that any if it is a flower I just one petal at a time in a flower like this avoid um continuous uh, i mean selecting a neighbor uh, petal or flower something like that which is overlapping with this so now i selected this here you can see these are the areas i selected now in the new layer the second layer i'm going to draw i mean add watercolors so this is watercolor edge brush to get a realistic watercolor texture uh, avoid using biggest uh, brush size instead use a, a small size so that you can get that textures here and there more like this now here white color the center and some parrot green color milder than that green so at the top i mean at the bottom like this so now i'm going to blend them together using the watercolor water brush for the top i'm using the pink color to blend just reduce the opacity of the brush when you are using the blend now when you are working with the green color use the green uh, color uh, to blend and the white color while blending for the white areas like this so that um, you can get that real colors instead of blending all together messing up so choose the same color while blending using the watercolor water brush to get that uh, colors properly okay now you can see I left some textures here and there to get that watercolor look and now I'm using watercolor bleed brush with the same pink color to add some dark shades 
so this brush will not give texture that much instead we can apply the colors better using this brush so i use the watercolor edge brush for the texture uh, then watercolor bleed brush for adding da uh, that darker real uh, color uh, to the art and watercolor water brush for blending well so i'm using some reddish pink shade to add some darkness to the flower only at the top okay now it's ready now add the same thing to the bottom using the watercolor bleed brush but change the color to green like this so don't skip anywhere in this a uh, part of the video because the here is where uh, the real texture uh, work starts so here you can see i'm using a uh, dip pen bleed brush using the white color i'm going to draw a milder strokes so with force fade on so i get that realistic strokes with the faded end then reduce the opacity of the brush further and add some more uh, lines like this this gives a realistic uh, texture look to your art so here i'm adding green color strokes as well now i'm adding watercolor real brush for adding some more uh, pink texture to the flower so if you feel it is more uh, darker then blend it with watercolor ble uh, watercolor water brush now just remove that selection using the remove selection option available on the laser uh, lazo then you can either select using the magic wand tool or either using the laser tool now i selected these areas again in the floor and i'm going to do the same process once uh, do the same process once again like the same pink color but this time uh, i'm not going to use any green color here because that is hided behind that uh, front end of that petal so only we have that pink and white shade only the pink is going to be only at the top uh, tip of the petals the white is going to cover more of that selection and as is same uh, thing using the dip pen bleed brush i added some strokes so without sketch it looks like this now i just select these areas and do the same process once again in our second layer so here you can see it is the size of the brush so when i do the watercolor process uh, using this lasso tool you can see some major difference uh, we get in the color uh, accuracy perfect detailing everything so i recommend you to use that always instead of using the watercolor brush straight away in your canvas so same process once again so i i just speed it up now i'm going to select these stem areas what you can do is using the magic wand tool using laser tool it is difficult so use the magic wand tool keep that in canvas option and select areas stem areas like this if you feel like you left some areas just go back to the la uh, laser tool and select that areas using the laser add option now using the watercolor edge brush i'm going to add the shading same as before but here i'm going to use different shade of green color some darker uh, green at the bottom and lighter green shades at the top 
So here you can see I am adding the darker shades now. Sheer. Then using the watercolor, water and just blending the texture a little bit. You can do this process, otherwise you can leave it and go back, uh, go to that uh, watercolor bleed brush and add some shades. Like this, I'm adding darker shades at the bottom. So try using the nearer color shades uh, from your uh, that color circle to get that you know variation in the colors shades everything now i'm adding little bit of line details using the lasso uh, fill tool i see it didn't work well so reduce the opacity and doing it again like this so you may not find no difference uh, when I do this process, but definitely these things going to add little more details to that. So adding might new details, add uh, more perfection to your art. So it looks more realistic at the end. Then I'm going to use the dip and bleed brush to add the same strokes that uh, that I did before for the floss so what I doing is I just released or remove the selection from the lasso and then blending these two areas because they had a uh, hard uh, edges so now I'm adding the shape strokes like this. Now I'm going to select this leaf using the magic wand tool. I'm not going to use the neighboring uh, leaves. So alternative method. I'm using a uh, one and three like that, leaving some leaves at uh, between that two leaves. So if you feel like you have selected some more areas than and the leaf shape you when you are trying out with the magic wand tool just remove that areas using the lasso subtract option then add smaller strokes like this then add the color variations Sometimes I don't use any color palette instead uh, based on how it looks I just use the colors randomly uh, This works well for me, but some for some people it don't work out well So if you feel like that you can use any color palette you can find in uh, coolers website or color hunt website so uh, there are many website you can find uh, super color palettes for your artwork uh, you can find out in google search so try that otherwise you can try based on your own uh, color ideas so again coming with the dip and bleed brush i'm adding strokes like this this time uh, some brighter strokes and then reduce to opacity strokes similarly i'm going to add the same details for these leaves as well and adding some more darker shades above that strokes to make it a little bit faded out at the bottom and now just fill every other leaves like this now to add some beautiful watercolor background if you add straight away in the lower layer um, it will reduce the look of your uh, uh, flower because uh, flowers have some transparent details so you can see the some green shades uh, uh, below that uh, whiter areas so what you can do is 
just using the magic wand to select the empty areas like this uh, I'm in the watercolor layer now so here it's selected unwanted areas just remove that using the lasso um, subtract option like this then here you can see this is the area I have selected using magic wand tool now I, I just created a new layer below the watercolor floor uh, drawing layer and I'm using watercolor uh, real brush to add this texture same color green uh, color tone set the background like this yeah now you can see the flowers are not affected uh, when i use this method to add the background shading you can feel like you have left some areas uh in the uh, drawing then you can add that shades in the background layer it will blend well you can also reduce the opacity of these background colors and i'm saving that as png and this is the final outcome i really like this it looks really better than my previous watercolor illustration if you like my tutorial subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching